Hey y'all, here we are at the Harold Douglas Cemetery. It was founded in 1867. We have a historical marker here as well that was put here in 2001. What a beautiful cemetery. The location is divine. As you can see behind us, we have Lake Livingston, which was not here in 1867. The lake was actually put in another hundred years later. So this was basically perched up on top of a hill, which I guess was a plantation around. But yes, what a beautiful location, y'all. This is a spectacular location, but so this was actually perched up on a hill before this lake was put in. This lake was actually put in in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s. These trees make for a beautiful, beautiful scene. We have a lot going downhill. A lot of these homes were obviously built. They are newer homes, so there wasn't always homes surrounding the cemetery. Such a nice location right there to be buried under. We have some small ones here. There could potentially be some unmarked graves here as well. Carrie Lee. It's a very, very windy day today. It's a beautiful home. Not sure if I'd want to live right beside a cemetery. It's interesting to be buried on this hill, overlooking the water. Some of these not as old. Miss Willie Bell Williams. Beautiful. A lot of furs, Kelly's. That's actually very beautiful, the detail.
Stephanie Blackshear. This is unique. We have some stepping stones here. We have those we'll take a look at in just a second. I'm pretty curious about this. And we have some older graves here. Here we have a fallen grave. With no marker. It's a beautiful stone. 